the way I got into Linux is was like very like weird. Um, I knew about Linux for a while. I worked with like other version of Linux, and in 2017, uh, I was going for my uh, bachelor degree in computer science, and I met with Juby. <clears throat> he was talking to me about Linux and say like which version and say Red Hat and explain more to me. Um, the background and the opportunity I can uh, leverage my uh, career to to a Red Hat system admin and I, I look into it and then at the time I took the lip and then here I am uh, an infrastructure director at the Apple Hotel. The main reason that made me become a teacher and teach Linux was because of my personal journey since it took me forever to translate my knowledge that I had and collected from here and there to a certification that could help me with my resume aka landing in a job uh, and uh, I didn't want the other people that they are in the same stage like me to go and experience everything, even not necessary thing that I did in the past. Trying to help people to have a uh, narrow down pathway from point that they want something to the point that they can make it happen. Well, I learned quickly the value behind understanding and learning Linux. Uh, you know, teaching and coaching is something that I've, you know, always done in other careers. So it kind of went hand in hand when something that I'm really interested in, uh, I'm also able to teach. And so it all kind of worked out very well. So I enjoy teaching and especially something that I know is going to really add some true value to somebody if they really want to, uh, to really learn Linux. So it just opens the door to so many opportunities. Um, this happened while I was like going to the program myself. I was like a, a student, and at the time, Alan was my my uh, teacher, and I found myself uh, understanding the concept so well I could explain it to my classmate. We used to um, um, meet uh, on other days that they had, we didn't have class to discuss and explain uh, stuff to them and I fall in love with the uh, with uh, teaching because that's something I enjoy and I enjoy talk about Linux and I understand it and it took me out of my comfort zone like to talk in front of people and that's that's when I, I really start like teaching and exposing myself in, in front of others and and, and, and do it The program and the curriculum, I believe it. I believe in the curriculum. Um, so I actually went through, um, like I said, a similar program, but didn't do the cert prep portion. Um, and I tried to study for the Red Hat Certified System Administrator on my own several times. Um, failed it a couple times uh, with all of the online resources and um, you know the the quick little one week boot camps. Those are really rough as far as formats. Um, and a lot of, I, I could say this now, we're not spring chickens anymore, right? It's kind of harder to learn things um, at the pace that we used to. So with Yellowtail, being able to spread that information across weeks and more sizable chunks, you know, bite-sized chunks, it allows us to be able to internalize a lot of that information um, easier. So um, I think the format that Yellowtail does is just very special. Um, from what you know else is on the market yes you could go with the self-taught and self-paced um, but sometimes you need that accountability with people um, other students and you know a, a professor or somebody leading the course um, and the other end of it is that you know there are one week boot camps that'll teach you all of everything that we do right in one week and that's really just hard to grasp so I think Yellowtail has this special place uh, in the market being able to stretch out a curriculum um, in bite-sized chunks with the support and the technology that we've added is just um, it's just a full package complete package
Uh, well, that's an easy one. Uh, I'm, I'm a product of Yellowtail. Uh, so I see firsthand the value that you get. And then I was actually had an opportunity to be able to, you know, extend that uh, helping hand, so to speak, to be what's called a bridge builder uh, to help the next person along. So it just worked hand in hand. Um, Yellowtail helped me. And so now it's kind of an opportunity to to give back to uh, other interested uh, students that really want to get into Linux. So it was an easy choice. Um, I like Yellowtail. I like what they were doing. Um, completed the program and, you know, got the full benefits of everything that they have to offer uh, and continue to uh, to give back to the to the next in line. So it was an easy choice. Uh, this is funny. Let, let me answer this question coming from a student perspective and then from a teacher's perspective. While I was looking, when Juby presented the idea to me, I, I did my research and find, try to see if I can find other program. And I was familiar at the time with boot camps. And I found like the, the boot camps was like maximum though, like it's where to find a boot camp that lasts a month. So like him, if I'm gonna learn this then from zero, like a month is not gonna be enough. And when I look at the program curriculum at Yellowtail, I say like, hey, this is this is very uh, well structured, and the timeline to learn all of this material was 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 fair, and that's why I jump and become a student. But as a teacher, is the the environment uh, working for Yellowtail as a teacher or like any a position is very fun. It's like it's very fun working for Yellowtail as a teacher because like we have exposure to other technologies and also Yellowtail pays for any other future certification that you want to take because the company believe in making its employees like valuable and marketable. Um, it's been, it's been humbling. Um, but it's been rewarding. Uh, so again, I've, I've had a terrible experience teaching before. Um, so going into this one, I was kind of reserved. Um, but I found that a lot of people respected me for what I know. Um, and not, you know, my age or, you know, my height or where I'm from, my background. It's just, okay, well, you know, Linux teach me. And I think for me, that is super humbling. And it's a privilege to be able to teach somebody something that um, will, in turn, change their lives, right? So I think that's the reason why I continue to teach is because, one, it teaches me a lot um, about myself. Um, but I tell all my students this. Um, being able to teach something is a level of mastery, right? So if you're able to teach something to anybody, that means you yourself know it. So I think that for me is also another way of um, making sure that I, I am still good as far as the technical side of, of the house. Uh, well, I think I think my contribution, aside from the, you know, just the, the baseline knowledge that you have to gain is I try to make it something that's enjoyable, uh, you know, because a lot of times you know, people may do things, you know, for, you know, there's never, I say a wrong reason, so to speak, I guess there could be, uh, you know, obviously everybody wants to get paid, but, uh, but I think I try to make it, uh, something enjoyable. I make it something to look forward to, uh, because when you're learning something new, especially something hard, uh, it's, it's tough to battle through that, you know, that wall of sometimes you may want to give up. So I try to keep the energy up and I think my con contribution is really, uh, making Linux fun to learn. Currently, I work directly for Red Hat, so I have an opportunity to work very closely with you know major con contributors of Linux, um, and I can say that the product that I'm working on um, currently, uh, OpenStack, um, I've been able to do things like uh, um, work on the automation of the deployment of OpenStack. So outside of just Yellowtail, I've actually been able to make that type of impact on a um, you know, long-standing product. So that exposure has been amazing, but also a lot of my colleagues at Red Hat are people who constantly, right, uh, contribute to the, 
kernel code, right? Or, or whatever applications that are running right now on Linux. So um, I'm in a very um, privileged space to be working on both the instruct, uh, you know, instruction side, but also with Red Hat, um, I do get exposed and the opportunity to make direct contributions to Linux itself. Uh, I think it's the level of involvement that we offer uh, that other programs don't. Uh, I mean, you know, whether it's the Slack channel to be able to get questions answered or whether it's really getting that, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one within a class environment, I guess you should say, one-on-one uh, -on -one instruction to where we can really slow down the pace if we need to. Uh, so I think it's just a lot more hands-on, a lot more direct and a lot more personable uh, with Yellowtail than I think other programs that just want to kind of present you with the information and then leave you to figure it out on your own. You know, Yellowtail, we take you all the way through the finish line and and to the next, uh, to the next race, I guess you could say. Right. So learning from Yellowtail allows you, um, with a, 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 it builds a structure and it puts up structure out there for you, um, that really emphasizes accountability, but with resources, right? So I think that's, that's the good balance that Yellowtail has for you and that, um, it is stretched out so that the information doesn't ever get overloaded to you as you're learning it. So it's a, it's very special the way that we um, get this information to you. Uh, and while we continue to improve the process, all that's happening is that we're able to, um, one, prepare you to be the most marketable candidate out there uh, as far as Linux jobs go. And I think that's really what makes Yellowtail special. We're not just teaching you Linux just for you know the sake of it. We want you to land a job. So the, our approach is very different and it's very targeted. So that's why I feel like Yellowtail um, and the way that they, they build or the way that we build um, our curriculum and the way that we disseminate the information is, is really what helps uh, our students get jobs. The main value I can name that I learned from Linux is to make sure I document everything and make sure I know the steps. And it's not only applies to my day-to-day -day work, it applies to my life. Every time I learn to have my plan, to know my steps and to know the exact time and date that I'm going to have those steps. This is the major, major, major point of learning and practicing Linux in my life. Uh, Linux teach me a lot. Like I said, I knew about Linux before, but I didn't know that we interact with Linux in uh, a daily basis because like the Mac OS is one on Linux, like you have your phone, uh, Android, the one on Linux. That showed me that it's very valuable to hold a Linux system uh, or a Linux system engineer or uh, uh, admin certification because you pretty much like a bulletproof as it comes to the job market because you always gonna get like a position open for you as in, in Linux. And mostly what I always, talk about uh, uh, like when I was learning I realized that we have to always take good notes because the notes goes along with you as a system admin or engineer because like there's so many different areas that you can let's say you solve an issue like uh, you always have to document the issue that you, res you resolve because down the line like three years down the line you may encounter the same issue and once you have your note it's gonna help you a lot to fix that issue so this is very important uh, uh this is the value i get like it's note taking and seeing how demanding this field is patience and listening because when you teach linux and then people are asking questions you have to always remember that uh the knowledge that you have is the knowledge they haven't necessarily acquired yet. 
So you have to really be patient and think about where the student is coming from so that you can answer and address that student in a way that's going to be impactful and not just, uh, you know, basically confusing, uh, confusing a person more with, you know, terminology and jargon that they, you know, don't know yet. So, uh, I'd say really listening and being patient that try to be the, the greatest values that, uh, continue to work on. The one thing is that there's no colors, there's no clicking and dragging, and there's definitely no undo button, right? So it's case sensitive, it's black and white, you have to issue commands for everything that you want to do. So you have to just be more vigilant of what actions you're taking on the system. And that's why I like to teach my students, yes, I've, I've taught you a command, right? But can you tell me the impact of this command on the system? Um, so the detail-oriented um, mindset of, well, you know, you can't have a typo in your command. There's, there's really no help with that. Um, that's one piece. Um, but also there's this level of privilege that you have as a system administrator. Um, and people, uh, well, employers pay you, right, to know about that privilege. And they expect you to maintain a system knowing that you have all the keys to the system. Um, so there's a level of responsibility and uh, a level of uh, attention to detail. I think those are the two um, concepts really that Linux has taught me personally.